Drills by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can bring in an EPS file as a custom shape. Now, got this shape here, it's already a placed linked object. I'm just going to remove it, so just go there. Just go to File and Place Linked, and got the EPS files here. Now, when you bring them in EPS, unfortunately, what happens, it becomes a, a raster format file, so it's not actually a vector, so you can't actually access the point so I'm just going to click there now you try and go over here to the custom shape tool and then say edit and define custom shape it's just not available but of course with Photoshop and Illustrator and with now with the creative cloud of course you can just go to Illustrator and bring that in so I'm just going to select Illustrator and I've got the same file already open and there of course it is actually a vector so I see what you just need to do just select it control C and then go to back over to Photoshop and control V and use the shape layer option there click OK once it does that now what you can do just go over and select there edit and unfortunately of course you still can't access the custom shape still it is a vector design so you should be able to access the points and of course quick easy way of doing that is just to do the over here direct selection tool select all those points and you can see now they're all selected and then go to edit and define custom shape there's the actual custom shape click OK I'm just gonna get rid of that now and what you can do then just go there and just select that and and I'm just going to flatten that so it's set the color and apply the custom shape. It's a vector design, so it can be any size, and you can just add it. Obviously, you can add it also as a source for brushes and maybe a source for patterns and much more. So it's just a quick thing. This P design is actually available on the graphic extras website in the font section as well as the custom shape section find it there as well but the EPS files are part of the font set so it's on that site okay hope you found this